everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway. Now it's been a couple of weeks since I made that video about the antiques fair and based on some of the bargains I got when I went there I thought I would visit an antiques place and uh, see if I could try my luck. Uh, so I went to a place called Breeden on the Hill and it was very nice there. Uh, there's not a lot there, don't get me wrong, but there was a chap across the main hall who was very nice, very knowledgeable and uh, very reasonable as well. And uh, he had some American rolling stock for sale and uh, yep, I picked it up because we were saying, well a few of us were talking weren't we, on uh, that uh, Berkshire video that I did, that I need to get some American rolling stock to go with it. So I managed to do that, uh, but it was a very nice place. You know, I went and had a toasted sandwich afterwards. Um, well, or grilled cheese, as some of you would call it. And it was very nice. So uh, yeah, if you're in the Nottingham, Burton, Derby area, um, Breeden on the Hill, very nice place. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at some of this stuff then. Um, I actually bought a big rake of American coaches, uh, which I haven't looked at yet. I've not had any of this stuff out yet. Um, I've only just got home, and uh, yeah, whoa, that won't have done it any good. <laughs> right, there's one of them, I'll show you that in a second. I'm a bit concerned about the couplings on them, to be honest. Um, I'm not familiar with the couplings, certainly, but we'll have a look. Anyway, um, oh, it's that it's that type of coupling, is it? So, let's see, uh, com com Compagni Internationale des Wagons Litz. I don't know, is that uh, German, is it American? Is it French? Goodness knows, but it's very nice, as I'm sure you can see. And what brand is it? Uh, bear with me. Oh, it's a Jouef. Jouef. Yawef. I don't know. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to have any buffers on that one, but he was selling these for £5 each. And so for £5, I went for it. Now, these, none of them seem to have any buffers, so I don't suppose that's too much of a problem. But uh, I, uh, what's this one? Uh, this is a sleeping car again. But I just thought for £5 each, I could run these um, with my American logos and get away with it. It's certainly better than Teaks or whatever, because at least they're HO or whatnot. Uh, so yeah, this one, another sleeping car. Um, so there's UF, I didn't realise there was UF, but they've all got metal wheels, and for £5 each, you can't, you can't go wrong, can you? And there's quite a few of them. <laughs> uh, what's that one? Uh, that one isn't a sleeping car, this one says Voice Litz, or whatever that means. Oh no, it is a sleeping car. <laughs> uh, the coupling's a bit limp on this one, so I might have to look at this. But as I say, I've not, I've not had these out yet. So uh, that's four sleeping cars so far. Um, so it's a real sleeping train, isn't it? Here's another one, sleeping car, slaff wagon, or whatever it is. Um, all the same as far as I can tell. So how many is that? Two, four, five, and I think there's three more. Sleeping car, yeah, that's another sleeping car. <laughs> I didn't actually realise they were all sleeping cars actually, but uh, it's not bad, it's not bad, is it? Um, another one, another sleeping car. This one's got a different couplet. Oh no, it hasn't, it's just missing the hook. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna clean these up anyway at some point. Uh, I'll give them, you know, a bit of oil on the wheels, clean the wheels a little bit. Let's see what this last one is then. Oh, you'll never guess. Yep, it's a sleeping car again. <laughs> So yeah, eight sleeping cars, five pounds each. Uh, I thought that was pretty, pretty darn good actually. And uh, I hope they will look nice together on the track. So uh, yeah, do the maths, what would it be? 40 quid for eight of them. It's not bad, is it? And they've all got metal wheels. So some Jouef, 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 uh, goodness knows how you say it. Um, sleeping cars, very nice. Um, and I will have to do some research on them. And uh, by the time I put them into any other videos, I'll hopefully know a bit more about them. But obviously, because I've only just bought them, I've not really had a chance to look them up. I don't even know how much they're worth, to be honest. But uh, normally I'll pay £10 each for coaches, so it's not bad. Okay, now this one isn't, um, well, this one, sorry, this one is a British piece of rolling stock. And uh, this was £5 as well. The box actually isn't very good, so I might throw it away, but it's the uh, R633 BR Wagon Freight Liners Limited. So let's have a look. Not had this out, not seen it yet really. But uh, yeah, I, I always fancied one of these. So uh, yeah, here it is. Um, all these have come off, of course. Might glue those on though, because it's a bit annoying that they keep coming off. But uh, it's nice that they come off so that I can clean it. Maybe I could put some uh, better wheels on it. Maybe I could put some some of my lead balls in here to make it weigh a bit more. But uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, did the doors open? Yes, I think they do, but they're jammed. Oh well. Uh, so yeah, they're very nice, uh, very fond of that. Uh, for five pounds, that isn't bad at all. And if I can find some more of them, 
Uh, I could, uh, you know, make a, a nice freight train with them. But as I say, that box to me doesn't look that good, and I'm a bit tight for space at the moment, so I might just uh, throw that. Okay, three more items, and these are a little bit more expensive because they are backman and they are boxed as well. But uh, let's have a look here. Uh, here we are. These are definitely American. Uh, Central, uh, Central Pacific Railroad. I won't get my words out. Uh, so yeah, these were a little bit more expensive, as I say, because they are in boxes. But uh, I still paid £20 for all three of them. So, you know, it's about, what, six, seven pounds each. Let's get some of these out then. One of these is a brake, I notice. So uh, for a little steam locomotive, I do have one in mind. There's a little... Um, HO040, um, which I think would look nice with this. That one's red as well. But, uh, oh, they're very nice. They're quite substantial as well. I thought they'd just be little piddly things. But no, they're very nice. Uh, they don't seem to have interiors or anything like that. But uh, they are nice and they're completely unlike anything I've got uh, already. And also the couplings look a little bit more familiar as well, uh, which uh, is a little bit less stressful, so that's nice. I'm thinking about actually on these, Possibly the Hornby couplings will just hook over these. Um, I don't know about the, uh, the more American knuckle couplers. Um, I shouldn't have thought that would work quite so well, but you know, I'm quite the bodger. I can just, uh, you know, cut one of those couplings off and uh, put anything I like on there, so that should be okay. Here we are then. This one is what I thought was the brake, and I still think it's the brake. Um, but obviously there's some American viewers uh, out there who will know better than, than I do. But uh, I'm just going to call it a break for the sake of argument. And uh, so yeah, that's very nice. Um, I don't know if I'll run them today on video. Um, I might. But uh, we'll have to see how I get on. I'll have to clean them and oil them. And I'll have to see how long that takes. Here's the last one. Central Pacific Railroad. This one's car number three. Uh, that one's three as well, but that one's eight. Fell should have said that. Backman, very nice. So uh, yeah, three of those. Um, obviously it's not a massive consist, but uh, with a little 040 or even a little 460 10 wheeler, I think that will look very nice. So uh, yeah, I think this whole lot cost me, what did it cost me? About 65 quid. And I nearly walked away without the change as well, which was slightly embarrassing. Uh, but uh, yeah, 65 pounds. I think if I was even on eBay, uh, that would have cost 100, wouldn't it? So uh, I'm more than happy with that. Some of them need a bit of work. I've just noticed these uh, one of these wheels has slipped down the axle a bit. But uh, I'm I'm quite happy to have paid less for them and uh, get a bit of a project out of them, you know. And uh, yeah, that is quite a nice lot, isn't it, for uh, quite a small amount of money. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'll say my goodbyes now. Uh, don't go anywhere because I might um, I might come back and run them for you. But uh, we'll have to see how I get on. So I'll say goodbye now, and you'll know by now how much longer the video is. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you on Wednesday. All right, folks. Okay, so the blue coaches seem okay. Most of them are intact. Some of them are missing a step or whatever. Uh, I've done a little bit of research on them. It seems they are European coaches and I think they might have something to do with the Orient Express, which would explain why they're all sleeper cars. But as you can see, they look lovely together. So for 40 something quid, um, eight coaches there, it's certainly not bad is it? So very pleased with those. Okay, I'll get on to the rest and uh, let you know what they're like. Right, the short American coaches seem to be very nice. I've just used the converter car so I can hook any local up to it for the time being. But uh, as you can see they run very nicely and uh, for 20 quid I'm really happy with those as well. He says watching them derail, oh well. <laughs> Okay, so the freight liners, I've cleaned them all carefully, and then in each of the boxes I've hidden a little lead ball, which uh, has just increased their weight a little bit. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing. Uh, I always like to document these things, so I do hope you liked seeing it. And for the second time then, I will say goodbye, and uh, once again, thank you for watching. Alright folks, see you next time.